，我掂一掂佢咧，佢就會達噶啦。係啦，試下。唔得喎，教練。試下試下啦。嗱，一、二、三跳。When people talk about Hong Kong, they usually talk about the bright lights and the fast pace of the city. They're iconic, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot more to this city than what you can find in plain sight. I'm Doughboy, I'm a rapper and a producer from Hong Kong, and I'm here to give you the inside look on what Hong Kong has to offer, off the beaten path. Hong Kong is always seen as a towering metropolis, but what a lot of you don't know is that 75% of Hong Kong is green and is filled with herbs and vegetables. While some of this is farmed, a lot of them are found growing wild, and that's where people like Wanda comes in. Hi, Wanda. Hi. So Wanda is a celebrated forager who supplies wild edibles to some of the best hotels in Hong Kong. Today, she's going to take us on the beautiful hike down the Lantau Trail and teach us how to forage safely. So we are in the southeastern tip of Lantau Island. Um, we are starting from about Tai O. We're going right through to Yi O, and then we can continue to Fan Lao. Um, we're going to try on this trail to look for some very unique plants. So uh, when did you start foraging, actually? Oh, I started foraging when I was a kid. My father is a Chinese herbalist, and his father before him, and his father before him, and there were many generations. This is called sea purslane. If you touch it, it is kind of like a succulent. It's quite juicy. Mm. So if you can taste it, it's quite salty. I could just bite it right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's salty. Right? Mm. Tastes like an olive almost. Mm. So if I grill this a little bit on the barbecue mm. or on any kind of grill, mm -hmm. um, I can actually pair it with fish and other things. Oh, okay. And it's quite lovely awesome. actually. It's a cool little plant. So why do you think Hong Kong is good for foraging? Hong Kong's got a wild range of biodiversity. There are different microclimates in Hong Kong as well. So there's quite a lot to see and do. So um, I also want to introduce you to one small plant here. The world's smallest orange that is native to Hong Kong. Mm. Go ahead. Hi. Mm. Yeah, it's very orangey. It's like a gum gut, right? Oh yeah, yeah kind of. Mm. Yeah. So the, one more? Like Can I have one we'll more? Take a few, yeah, we'll take a few of these. Okay. Yeah, so for the people watching this, um, is there like a workshop that they can join? Yep, so I usually lead a group of six to ten people, a small group, and we would do the similar walk that we've done today. I usually make these programs bespoke so that um, we cater to the interests of the group, whether it's Chinese medicine or whether it's just wild edibles. Um, and then we spend the day outdoors looking for these things. Wanda, thank you very much for bringing us on this wonderful hike and also teaching me the ins and outs of foraging. My pleasure, super welcome. Now it's time to head over to an island that was once just a humble fishing village off the coast of Hong Kong Island, but has over time grown into one of the most unique, thriving, and creative communities in Hong Kong. If you're looking for the wild LKF night out, Lama is probably not on your list, but the island is truly a treat for those who are looking for a uniquely laid back Hong Kong experience. This is Yongshi Wan, the sort of capital of Lama Island. Yongshi Wan is like a bohemian island resort, but I only know so much. So to give us a real look into the island's history is Nick Levet, the Gandalf of Lama. Nick is one of the OG expats. After a career in news and radio DJing, he semi-retired into the island life. He lives and breathes Lama. So I'm sure he'll have a lot of island wisdom to share with us. Hey Nick, good to finally see you. Hey. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. And when did you start coming to Lama Island at first? Uh, first came over back in about 1975, 76, I'm wow. not too sure. And uh, people over here are great. There's 63 nationalities at last count that I know of. Everybody gets on with everybody else. There's no trouble and strife. For the hippie colony of Lama, Lama is the safest, insanest, and most pleasant and beautiful place I've lived in my life. And I've been here since 74, so I can say that with a certain amount of maturity. And I love it. I ain't going to move anywhere. Well, Nick, it was really amazing talking to you. Thank you for all the pleasure, wisdom. Pleasure, pleasure talking to you. Honestly, Nick is such a unique character. You can't find someone like that in Hong Kong. It is so fast-paced. But Lama is not all just sunshine and flip-flops. There's more to this island. 
Lama's on the verge of a come up with many creators making a name within the growing community. And that's why we're heading to Lama Brand. JC, they hold. Yeah, All right, so this is JC. He's the owner of Lama Brand. This year, do you think Lama Dao has some changes? Actually, do you think Lama Dao? Actually, Lama Dao has changed a lot, but the population here doesn't want to change too much. Lama Dao has no Bentley Dao, no supermarket. Yes, there are no Bentley Dao, so he thinks that he wants to continue this thing. There is a kind of life in there. Lama Dao has many other people, he has a lot of music, even a lot of artists in there. So I actually hope that Lama Dao will become a music and music more often. Honestly, I had such a blast on Lama Island. And it's so different that you kind of forget that you're in Hong Kong. But right now, I really got to rest up because tomorrow, we're heading to the new territories and we're about to do something real hardcore. We're in the middle of Toon Moon and this is where the Hong Kong Pro Wrestling Federation does their thing. These guys put on the coolest matches in Hong Kong and luckily, I'm friends with the trainers, so let's go check them out. Hey, what's up, yo? Hold up, my kid. Hold up, my kid. Hey, Ben, I want to ask you, what time do you get to get to the United States? I get to the United States for about a half hour. Then I get to the United States and I go to the United States. Then I see some people. There's some people in the ring that have some fire on the ground. Then I immediately get to the United States. I want to go to the United States. Then I get to the United States. 其實我哋每一年都會叫新人去 try out 一次，咁儘量可能四至五個啊，咁又收佢哋，跟住就真係培育佢哋做出個手。Training for something like this is not gonna be easy. We're gonna see how it all pays off in a bit. 喂喂喂喂喂！好耐冇見。Yo, anyways, this is my friend Noise. Uh, he's a model from Hong Kong, and I told him to come train with us. 咁啊，喂，可唔可以教我哋呢個啊？梗係可以啦。準備踎低少少，踎低少少，係啦，我一掂。哇！精彩，系一二三，系好啲，好啲，好啲，调整，都差唔多到啦，要转身，系啦，转身，系啦，系啦，系啦，哇，点啊？呢个真系好难，嚟，我哋开始。呢两天发生一个超级大爆炸，但系呢个系事实，香港。Once you think you know a lot about the city, there's always so much more for you to explore. And this is truly Hong Kong.